junior college that they just started. And I'm not gonna lie, it's the best place ever. This is my college campus, and these ladies and these gray guys right here are my classmates. Good job, boys. And I'd probably bridge this pass when they come in together. Very nice. Let them go at least pass you towards the crowd. Maybe one more and bridge the next one. Nice. Good job. Well, what we're doing here is just fantastic because it provides hands-on experience for students to work with marine mammals, which is something that I always wanted to do, but a four-year degree doesn't really prepare you necessarily for the hands-on part and the learning that you need to work with animals. When I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. I can get the hands-on experience. I'm going to be learning a whole lot, and I don't have to worry about trying to fit it in with other things at the same time. Karen. Good girl. So you guys can see as I call her, she uh, listens for my voice. Duck. Uses her whiskers to find the duck. Good. Target. Good. So I give her that hand target to let her know where I am. Reinforce that. Come. Good. I'm still talking to her so she knows where I'm at. So she follows my voice. Good girl. I'm going to say the word seat and then tap on it. And she'll use her whiskers to find her seat. Good girl. When she first came to DRC, we made sure to uh, make this entire habitat safe for a blind sea lion. And we made sure to walk her around, let her feel her entire habitat so she knows exactly where she's at. Um, she is considered geriatric at this age. Generally, they live about uh, 20 to 25 years. Uh, but she's uh, very healthy and doing really well. And she's also listening to my voice. So she does have tiny little ear flaps on either side there. So she has great hearing, good girl, and selective hearing, the word eyes. And so that uh, gives her a cue to do exactly what she's doing, having her eyes open. Eyes, and let her know what's coming. Good. And then bridge that. That was perfect. So I'll hold it just like this. I'll let her whiskers feel the fish, and then drop it right in. Good girl, you were making sure it was tail first, huh? So if you want to go ahead and just let her feel the capelin. There you go. And let her feel the fish. So you feel it there. Good. Yeah. Good. Now that just showed how sensitive those whiskers were. Karen, water. So she felt the pilings. So she'll start scooting her rear end. And then she feels for where the end is. And then she backs herself in. You're awesome, bears and then goes head first. Good girl. Have you with us during those times because it's giving you a, a better in-depth pre, uh, appreciation of the subject that we're about to teach, which is phenomenal, so. Yeah. Up until now, the only programs with regard to exotic animal training have revolved around animals that are land animal. Um, there have never been any programs that have offered um, a higher education degree uh, with regard to marine mammals and their behavior care and training. In human care, what's happening is that since we have wonderful care for these animals, they're living longer and longer lives. Uh, they're living to their maximum lifespans uh, more often and more often than you see in the wild. And so what that means is we are now having to really get into geriatric medicine and caring for animals that are aging that have specific needs. Part of your coursework is to go out there and watch baby dolphins. Um, you guys already have an edge in the fact that uh, we went through and got to see um, a baby dolphin born right in front of you. Molly is our oldest common bottlenose dolphin here at DRC. She's in her early 50s. Because her eyesight isn't that great in her old age, it's something called tactile signal. So you'll see us a lot giving hand signals um, to the dolphins like you ladies were doing earlier. Um, now we actually just then transfer them into a touch signal that we can um, ultrasound her abdomen, her lungs, her bladder, her kidneys, her liver. So I'm going to say the word dive and I gave them signal. So I'm pairing the two. So she'll learn, oh, that, that dive sound means for me to jump. Yeah. Nice job, Molly. <laughs> and when she comes back, we'll clap for her. Oh, she's not done yet. <laughs> 
And with age, selective hearing uh, comes into play too. Yay!